Namaste. Good morning. Shamla Ji, Namaste. Namaste all. Welcome to the morning session. Ji, Namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko Namaste. Good morning. Welcome. So we can start our sharing. Ji, Ji, Ji. Today we have one sharing by Aman Grover Ji. Namaste, Aman Grover Ji. Am I audible to you? Mic is for Namaste, you. Bhaiya. Namaste. So, Bhaiya, I will put Namaste. your... Yeah. Brief introduction, and you can place your sharing within yeah. uh, the shifted time and based on these indicators. So we have sure. uh, with us uh, Aman Gowarji. He is a nurse by profession. So he attends the morning session for the first time, and first time sharing. He attended uh, two workshops um, so far. One with uh, group friends, another with uh, his family and friends combined. His first workshop of USP was in July 2021. Um, and second one with uh, uh, Moti Faya. But he is not involved in USP volunteering activities so far. Uh, Faya is uh, based in Melbourne, Australia. So with this brief introduction, I welcome Aman Gowarji for his sharing in the morning session. Paya, over to you. Thank you, Paya. Hello and namaste to all my co-explorer. Um, and namaste, Sharmilaji. So as Paya mentioned, my name is Aman Gowar. I'm uh, 31 years old. Um, I work as a nurse by profession, as Paya mentioned. Um, currently, I'm living with my mom and uh, my wife. Uh, I have a sister and brother-in-law um, who live close to my house with the uh, two kids. I'm born and brought up in India uh, in a nuclear family. Um, I came here in Australia when I was 20. Um, I've been living here for the past 11 years. Um, um, in, this is th as the first time I'm sharing, so I might be a bit hesitant to say some things. Um, so, uh, as Bia mentioned, this is my um, first meeting and I've done two workshops so far. Um, first one was with a group of friends and uh, second with the uh, uh, combined with family and friends. Um, this was back in 2021. So I'll start with the points um, that my share uh, understanding regarding exercise one and two. Um, so since I've done my workshop, I always wanted to know what uh, actually there to do in terms of proposal that came to me by UHV. Um, it was that I need to monitor my desire, thought and expectation. This was the first takeaway message that I got from the uh, workshops. So I started to focus on my thoughts and realized that most of the thoughts were going in me are um, in regards to money, uh, either I want to earn more money uh, or more respect from others. And the third one was like entertainment. Uh, so mostly planning to go out, uh, getting happiness from other things or outer things around people. Um, I was able to observe these, um, but still not being able to observe my feelings behind all these at all. So after attending morning meetings, um, exercise one, I realized that um, these exercises were developed to pay uh, our attention inwards and observe inwards mostly. So um, this was an opportunity for me to observe my feelings um, as we start talking about it in step two. Um, then I was able to see that this whole thing is going in a sequence as per the discussion in the meetings as well, uh, going up to the sanskar. Um, so I'm still keeping this open and exploring in myself. Um, exercise two was this whole new um, idea for me. It allowed me to focus uh, on one of my biggest sanskar that I have not been able to um, differentiate body and self yet. So these steps were um, uh, were made to make me realize that there 
the information is coming from outside and I'm interacting with the information and how I'm giving giving the meaning to it. And depending on my sanskar or assumption, I'm reacting or responding back to outside. This was my understanding of exercise too. So moving on to um, that, how many steps I've been able to see in myself clearly. So um, step one was the most important step or is the most important step out of all the steps and exercise for me. Um, the more I'm in observation and awareness stage, the more I'm able to follow through um, step one to five in exercise one. Um, and the more I do it, uh, I could see more clearly and uh, respond calmly, um, most importantly, without any reacting. Um, so this whole proposal that um, the, the the main thing I find is to do the observation. Whenever I'm not in observation state, I'm getting carried away, carried away with my thoughts, feelings, sensation, sanskar or preconditioning. I also refer to it as a. I switched on to autopilot mode, uh, which I was living the life before I joined the UHV. So this was step one, um, understanding. So step two, that um, still not able to refer all the things with natural acceptance, or I can say I have been able to, un haven't been able to understand natural acceptance in terms of its completeness. Um, so only able to refer the things that I think that are doable to me. For example, uh, if I don't, when I have opposition feeling with someone or I decide to stay in harmony state, then I'm able to refer, yes, um, or remember um, to refer to natural acceptance. But in terms of uh, nature and existence, it's still open to me that what my role in, in the existence um, in terms with accordance with natural acceptance. Um, step three, um, I'm able to see most of the time that I'm, whether I'm in comfortable or uncomfortable state or I'm in harmony or disharmony. But again, this is all happening if I'm following through step one, which is the observation state without reacting. Um, step four, I'm starting to take responsibility for most of the things, um, say relationship, um, but um, the relationship and uh, physiochemical things happening outside still affects me at times. Um, things um, that I'm not able to take responsibility are um, that are happening out of my sanskar. Um, as sometimes the deep sanskar gets triggered and then um, I tend to react. So things, for example, if someone think less of me in front of others, this is like um, I put it as a branch of ex expecting respect, uh, feeling from other, because I've give I've chose to give them respect, and when I don't get the respect back, I get annoyed or have a position feeling towards them. But again, then I come to realize my main focus is uh, this is um, getting towards uh, getting happiness from others. So it gives me a sense of a uh, feeling of responsibility for my own happiness. Um, but again, if I'm not reacting to it, um, step five um, is quite prominent to me. Um, and that whenever I'm reacting, it's all mostly happening from due to my pre-assumption um, towards so, so physiochemical things or society or um, or the sanskar that I have brought up with um, or the understanding about this whole existence. Um, so it's quite prominent that I realized that I, I was mostly reacting um, because of the sanskars that I have. So step six is still under progress. I'm working through to develop my understanding within myself to ensure my relationship feelings with other human beings in terms of harmony, existence, 
um, in accordance with natural acceptance. Um, step seven of exercise one is quite similar to me um, as step seven of exercise two, um, saying that uh, unless until I know what space is in similar way, I need to understand my relationship, harmony and existence in its completeness, completeness and be able to stay comfortable in continuity. So this is all I'm keeping an open um, path to me. Talking about exercise two, as I mentioned earlier, this is all um, new exercise to me. I, um, with, with regards to step one, I could see that self and body are two different, different things. Um, not able to, um, so certainly when I'm in awareness state, I could see that. Um, meaning that if I'm not in a situation as per my presumption or sanskars. Um, so step in when we follow through, when I follow through the step, when I'm sitting down to meditate, I could recognize that I'm the one reading the sensation through the body and I'm giving a meaning to it according to my pre-knowledge or whatever I've assumed about the sensation that I'm getting. Um, step three, I could see when when I'm in an awareness state um, that I'm the one deciding what sens sensation are there to read. For example, I had a back pain which happened uh, while doing some vigorous ex exercise or activity. Um, now, sometime for past few weeks, I felt that there was a slight pinch uh, on my back, um, upper back with certain movements. Once I decide that it's only a mild pain, um, that I was giving meaning to it, and I decided not to read it intentionally, and then continue doing whatever activity I was doing, but realized the pain was not there anymore, and I wasn't, I could see the distance uh, with the pain, and when I'm deciding, this is just a small example, but I've been trying to um, see other sensations uh, in other activity and even when I'm sitting down to meditate as well. Um, step four uh, was the hardest step for me in exercise two. In fact, I started to have reaction towards it while practicing the exercise. Um, but with the help of um, or guidance of Shamila Didi, I realized I was starting to label um all the sensation that I was reading instead of just observing them um because because of my pre-assumption was like I have to name everything whatever I'm getting um later when I moved to step five I realized I'm also reacting towards this step because of my sanskar that I've I've considered myself as I'm the body not the different um um, so these um, two steps, I'm still trying to practice more and work is still under the progress. Step A and 6A and B, I'm working through the steps that how my sensations are triggering my feelings most of the time. Um, when I realize sometimes I start to chase those feelings, for example, if if I'm, if I like some tasty food and I'm feeling good about it, um food such as like cup of tea in the morning i uh, i feel good after having a cup of tea and now my uh, it's become my practice to drink tea in the morning and without it i would have the down feeling and and i'm giving the meaning that oh this is um i'm not up to my um 100% because i haven't had my morning tea so this is all uh, work through the feelings and and sensation process. Um, step one is is an idea for me. I haven't it hasn't come to my thought level yet. Maybe because I still need to practice more and explore exercise too. Um, but I'm keeping it open. Um, hope hope for the best. <laughs> um, um. With, in regards to happiness, is my uh, innate nature or um, or not the effect from outside? Um, I'm clearly able to see that I'm the one causing 
unhappiness to me at times um when things are not happening when things are happening because of other human being or society or physiochemical things um so the, uh, then i come to realize that they are always going to happen according to their own nature um and i'm and, and i'm there to just observe so because of all this the blaming part has been um going away not completely but up to some extent that i've been able to live um more calmly and peacefully um so um uh, next is whether if i'm um in a favorable of um have innate nature as a characteristic um and whether my program is all happening due to sensation and and feeling so most of the time before human workshop i was the it was happening to follow the sensation or feeling getting from other like i mentioned um so in terms of commitment um at the moment this is all uh coming to me as a part of information i'm still implying this knowing part uh in the moment to moment living life uh, i've been able to devote most of my attention towards or i'm trying to devote most towards natural acceptance um there are some benefits i would like to share in my sharing that i've been able to work uh, some of my sanskars for example i had a fear um and um and some de- i was developing anxiety from the fear um as a in from other human being or being in a certain situation i've been able to uh i'm becoming more and more confident uh, in myself uh while interacting with other human beings um i start to see the relatedness um to them and with the nature and and um how the society is um living earlier i wasn't able to see the relatedness um so the blaming part has gone weaker um as i mentioned above there's plenty of work to do but i'm confident that um it will it will go up the slope at least um the things i used to get annoyed and uh, and irritated are sort of resolving on its own within myself when i start when i sit down um and especially being in morning meetings um um and listening to other um co-explorer sharings um some of the question that i try to ask or wanted to ask and already been asked in the meetings and then i get the answer through that so um the continuity of happiness is the continuity of being um with the human valley workshop um in terms of knowledge and developing the understanding so that's what i um i'm up to here so thank you for all the course floor to listen to my sharing um namaste thank you yeah thank you so much aman gobar ji for this uh, nice sharing Thank, thank you uh, you have been attending the workshop quite consistently and asking uh, many questions also i think it is uh, day time over there i like past uh, 10 o'clock in melbourne no it's yeah. a day time um, 10 10 in the morning in the morning Past yeah 10 20 yes uh, in the morning yeah so it may be working day for you but uh, still you can uh, find time to attend the morning session so could you also able to share this with uh, people in australia something in terms of uh, human value um, yeah. the whole yes yes so some but um, most of the family member in like my my sister brother in law my mom and wife um has attended the workshop with me um with moti bhaiya ji last year so in november um and i have uh, some of or oh, oh, other co explorer um which i did with my friends harmeet ji and uh, gopal ji gopal ji lives um, in different state but we in touch um so uh, harmeet is uh, is the one that um, that i share most of the um, human value stuff with him and in terms of day to day life um and i've got wife that i usually talk um to as well yeah 
very nice in the workplace also could you able to share uh, something with the colleagues over there yep yeah, uh, workplace i i because i work as a nurse it's a, a intensive care unit so mm -hmm. i i realized the the understanding of other other like australians or other country people here um that i had started to do the meditation session um with them in in the in the overlapping time so i did that for a little while but i didn't get much response and whenever i have the opportunity i try to um get them to pay attention inwards um so i would say relationship with others has been pretty well um but i haven't been able to put the idea of um human value of some of my friends i have but then it just the language barrier gets in 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 a way um and sometimes people are not interested so I, this is cuz i'm still understanding the idea in myself so i i wasn't confident to put it um in front of someone else so attending the morning meetings i feel like i have uh, grasped the whole idea that what uh, is that we're trying to say here in term, like when i attended the workshop it was all um, all fresh so it's still taking its own time to observe Thanks, Priya. Thank you so much for your mm -hmm. candid sharing. Very nice. We'll go to the uh, comments by Shamla Didi. Shamla Didi, over to you. Namaste, Amanji. Namaste, Didi. Yeah. Very nice. Very honest, sincere, candid sharing. Um, I think we get to hear you time and again um, the questions that you raise, and uh, it is very obvious from your questions that you are exploring very sincerely. Um, I just want to. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Um, yes. One was you mentioned about the introduction to UHV through your friends Gurpal and Harmi. Yes. Um, you mentioned that your first workshop was in 2021, yes. then the second one was in 2023. Yes. So after the first workshop, what do you feel was the impact? How did you decide to go back to another workshop in 2023? And what made you uh, join the morning session for further exploration now? Some questions. So uh, when I first attended the workshop um, with Banerjee, um, and I started to change my behavior um, according to this, because um, this was all new idea, and then, um, and I realized I, I instead of developing my understanding, I started to focus on changing the behavior as in just uh, seeing what other people want from me and keep them happy and uh, then I was started to have inner reaction towards it and I realized um, that whatever I was doing it's going in the wrong pathway that's not how it was meant to be then uh, later on I got uh, married um, next year um, so I think human value, um, sort of the understanding that I got was um, the nature of other human, seeing the nature of other human beings. So that helped me deciding my partner as well. So then I got busy. Um, then, I, but it was always in back of my mind that I want to do a family workshop with the, my family, and because whenever the the conflict comes with. Uh, in between my sister, brother-in-law, and my mom, everyone in the family, I would, when it was getting out of my hand that I couldn't answer the question, then I would have, I used to refer to, let's, um, why don't we do a family workshop? Uh, and then maybe you can get those answers from them. Because they could see that my living was um, was or different from them, um, from my sister and brother-in-law. Um, 
so then they said okay you you saying every time that conflict comes then let's just do the workshop so then it was an opportunity and to do with my wife as well so um it just got uh, delayed a little bit and uh, to have this so my expectations were that oh after attending the workshop people would around me would understand more that what am i trying to do here and then um or or actually could see in themselves or observing themselves more and then later on um, um i did the second workshop i started changing my behavior again but this time i picked up this uh, in one month that oh i'm i'm starting to just getting the idea of uh, of changing my behavior instead of doing the actual work of observation like i mentioned i wasn't able to observe my feelings at all so then i spoke to group algi and um, and hermiti and uh, and due to my work life balance and earlier i was working a lot as well but um i guess the priority wasn't there even though <laughs> i still work and uh, the priority wasn't there and then i realized i'm going to try to attend morning meetings and and because i wanted to practice this in my day to day life so this was my motivation of attending my so i went as an open mind and seeing what they're to say and um i tried to attend few meetings in the past but i wasn't doing it in a continuity so this was uh, all um made me to go forward with the uh, with the morning meetings and like i mentioned this is all um the first time so hopefully um with more practice i can imply the steps within me day to day life Yes, Does that answer? Yes, yes, yes. In fact, I had another question which you might have yes. uh, about observations by family members uh, or colleagues regarding changes in your behavior. So I guess to some extent uh, that must have, from what you shared, it sounds like they could see the changes and therefore they were open during the workshops. Mm -hmm. So that's Sorry, the, I, the, yeah. Your voice is breaking up. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. So I was saying it's very commendable that uh, they must have seen some changes in your behavior. Therefore, they were so open to doing the workshops with you. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, really nice to uh, hear that. the changes in the behavior are visible to others because as we keep exploring the behavior does change for the better and uh, people around us are able to see those changes yes so i think uh, you know for a first time effort it is really wonderful that you are able to observe this much about yourself and um, i think uh so further exploration also you will be with us to continue the explorative journey the thing that i would suggest is although i'm having a busy schedule but in your own time whenever you have the time perhaps you can look at some participation in terms of work that you can do in your own time space I think, mm -hmm. if I am not mistaken, it means that our name or at least were involved in some uh, volunteering activity. Um, mm -hmm. So, if you can also uh, join something like that, which you can do at your own pace, like there are works like um, you know documentation works, translation translation works, and so on. Uh, you could. Get involved in that. That will keep you closer to the content. You have more time with the exploration, and at the same time, in your participation in society also, you can consider that at some point. Yes, yes. And uh, other than that, uh, I am sure that you will continue the exploration with the meetings because I can see 
lot of exploration going on. Journey mm -hmm. is long, it does take time, but I think you've made a wonderful start. So all the very best to you for future journey also. Exploration. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Shambhadi, for that comment, for those comments. Mm -hmm.